Hi everyone, Sariana van Us here with another Argenling tutorial for stencil art. All products used in this video will be listed at the end of the video and are available at www.stencilart.co.za. Tim Holtz's tag tutorial for March 2015 inspired my original page. I started off by adhering Tim Holtz tissue tape to the background. Apply distressed paint in abandoned coral, squeezed lemonade, spiced marmalade, broken china, cracked pistachio and picked raspberry. I kept the layers of paint moist by spraying it with water and then when I lay down all the colours allowed it to run and blend into each other. Create a mask of the image to cover the stamped face while applying texture paste to the background. Stamp the face with archival ink on wax paper, dry and cut out. I also use the mask to decide on the placement of the image. Stamp the image with tea dye distress ink to create a soft outline. This will avoid harsh lines in and around the image and allows me to blend the outline into the face. Use repositional adhesive spray to temporarily adhere the mask over the stamped image. Use masking tape to keep the butterfly's one stencil in place and apply Ranger texture paste with a plastic palette knife. This texture paste is creamy and light and so easy to apply. My new favorite product. It also absorbs colour and can be dried with a heat tool. Use Ranger and Snowflake embossing powder over the wet texture paste and melt with a heat tool. Use Derwent Art Pass to add colour to the image. The Art Pass can be used directly on the image and then activate it with water or use a water brush to pick up the colour from the Art Bar. Add highlights and shadows and remember to let layers dry before adding more colour. Add vibrant colours to the image with the Derwent Intense pencils. The pencils also allow me to add finer details like the patterning on the butterflies. The art parts have a soft watercolour effect while the Intense pencils are vibrant and bright. Use Dina Wakely Matte Gel Medium to activate the colour on the butterflies. 
This will give a shiny effect to the images than water and will also create a different texture. Add more detail to the hair with different sepia tones and activate with gel medium. Shave small pieces of flesh coloured art bar with a shave and save and mix with gel medium to make your own paint and apply it to the face. Keep on adding layers of colour to the face making sure that the layers dry before adding more on top. Use Silver Heritage Artist Acrylic Metallic Paint to add a touch of silver to the butterflies. This paint is very translucent, almost a glaze, which will allow the underneath layers to show through. Add final touches to the face with Posca paint pens in white and black as well as Inktense pencils activated with gel medium. By activating the Inktense pencils I make sure that it is permanent and won't blend with any colour added on top. The Posca paint pens have some open time to blend but will also dry permanent. I will add some colour and then dab it with a wet wipe to blend it. Outline the butterflies with a silver Posca paint pen. I was just not happy with the butterflies that was cut in half by the mask and decided to rather have the butterflies going on top, so I applied the texture paste and embossing powder.
Writing the title with a white intense pencil allows me to remove it if I'm not happy with the placement or size. Once I'm satisfied, I will go over it with the silver and then the white Posca paint pens. Outline the texture paste butterflies with a silver Posca paint pen and remember lastly to add the date. Thank you so much for joining me.